In this video, we will talk about long Indian pepper, which is uh, quite a good uh, spicy and I use it uh, in cooking and uh, I recommend it because it has also synolytic properties. So as always, I recommend to download presentation as PDF file. The link is available in the description and let's go. The spice commonly known as long Indian pepper uh, uh, holds significance in both cu culinary practices and uh, Ayurvedic uh, medicine. In traditional medicine, the fruits and roots of long pepper have been employed to address the diverse a range of health conditions including blood clot prevention, uh, asthma, bronchitis, uh, coughs, uh, inflammatory diseases, muscle discomfort and inflammation. Its ability to regulate glucose release and insulin production aids in lowering uh, blood sugar levels, preventing diabetes. Furthermore, long Indian pepper is uh, believed to enhance metabolism and reduce body fat accumulation by promoting somogenesis and lipos uh, uh, lipolysis. So the use of uh, accumulated fat as source of energy. Both alcohol and water-based extracts exhibit antibacterial and antifungal properties. Notably, children under 15 uh, received long pepper powder in uh, 250 mg capsules for 5 weeks without any rep reported side effects. It's uh, 3 uh, capsules a day. Uh, long pepper fruits contain uh, alkaloids, essential oils, resins, uh, 1 to 2 percent of piperin, and 3 to 5 percent of piperlongumin. Piperlongumin stands out for its high oral bioavailability and minimal toxicity. Oral administration of piperlongumin to aged mice has shown cognitive improvements. Piperlongumin, a natural product, uh, product with synolytic properties, uh, has demonstrated effic efficiency in targeting and eliminating senescent cells. Its anti-cancer synostatic and synolytic effects are achieved by reducing the production of natural antioxidant glutathione, glutathione uh, leading to increased concentration of reactive oxygen species and subsequent apoptosis in senescent and cancer cells, uh, apoptosis death of the cells. Combining a piperlongumin with synolytic uh, ABT, uh, 263 improves selectivity in removing senescent cells. <coughs> Pardon. There is a synergy between long pepper powder, berberine, physetine, and quercetin. So here it is a pepper pepper longumin. This is a mild alkaloid uh, from a long pepper, and this is piperin, which is available both in long pepper and black pepper. It is feasible that pepper longumin and long pepper powder. <clears throat> for pardon, uh, works as synolytics in combination with dazotinib and quercetin, or with other synolytics. Long pepper enhances bioavailability of various substances, including vitamins, amino acids, minerals, and antibiotics. Particularly, uh, piper longumin uh, enhances the action of antibiotics uh, like rif uh, rifampin and tetracycline. Given uh, piperlongumin anti-inflammatory anti-tumor activities, it may be considered for cancer prevention. And the regular use of piperlongumin has shown promise against colon cancer development and its potential application as neuroprotective, immunological and prevention of blood clot formation. Considering the inclusion of piperlongumin uh, and, uh, and long papers in, in the diet, it is crucial to note that a synolytic dose of piperongumin requires a substantial amount and, uh, and uh, the complex extraction process uh, that's a uh, substantial amount of these fruits and uh, the complex extraction process contributes uh, to its higher cost. This is likely explains why piperongumin is not readily available as dietary supplement. According to publication uh, number 10, uh, 500 gram of dried PLG, uh, piper long, uh, gumin long peppers, so it is part of this uh, long peppers, can yield only up to 14 gram of PLG, piper long gumin. So toxic dose for 70 kilo person is 8 gram of piper long gumin or 
287 grams of dried long pepper fruits. Uh, it is a therapeutic dose of PLG for mice corresponds to 3.5 grams of PLG for humans or 125 grams of long pepper fruits. However, serious long bowel problems can arise with a dose of less than 16 grams per day and uh, or five percent of toxic dose so there is some anecdotal evidence that uh, up to 2.5 gram of uh, this uh, powder of long paper is uh, has uh, produces no toxic effect myself i'm using 1.5 gram per day okay so you see references you can go to the details as always, in the standard disclaimer that I am not professional, uh, medical professional. I am uh, doctor in science, and my education was physics in physics and mathematics. So I am not supposed to give you any medical advice, but I give this information uh, just for 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 to you consider for your education. And of course, my opinion is much different from medical opinion uh, because I I never get in sick. I I don't don't ask any advice of medical professionals because I keep myself sick. I'm 66 years old and quite good and quite good uh, in this age and have no problems at all. So, and uh, so you see that again, uh, uh, this uh, paper, I recommend it to use in cooking and it is quite delicious, uh, spicy and uh, I use it. So, I mean, you can use it at least uh, for cooking. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Have a good day. Ciao, ciao.